Oh, that's what we do. We clean things. Oh, no. We straighten through the little cat. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's smooth, right? It's smooth, yeah. Whatever. You got like no tension on that. You got no tension on that. <laughs> What's up, guys? John G, John Goodwin, you are first, my brother. Which means you ain't worst. You are the first. When's the last time you were on a live, bro? Mm -hmm. What's up, Frank? Mm hmm. No, he works. Like, that guy's busy. Yeah. Super busy. Super busy. I work too. Ryan. Ryan you're actually Pac Man. Better, I think, Ryan. Mr. Packard. Jonathan <laughs> Headcase himself is in. Headcase, what's up? What happened to Five Guys? I wouldn't have. What were we talking about? Food or. I don't know. Your what failed what college have you been experience. About? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, oh, I think he's talking about the time. Failed college experiment. Oh, yeah. Never made it to college. It'd be more like a failed army experiment. Whoa. But Cut is it really a fail? Uh, no, fine. I don't think it's a fail if it didn't go down. Right? Right? <laughs> You're a very handsome man, <laughs> Mr. Packard. Por que no los dos? He doesn't speak that. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he's, he's, he's got Korean speaking Spanish. How do we mute this? Can we mute? I've never messed with that. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Yeah. Oh, what's going on, man? Child. Yeah, I know. John has to watch me record most of the time. It's a good, it's good work. channel name. I like that. Man, child. What's yeah. up, dude? Good to see you. I decided to kind of talk about. Uh, I think we've kind of touched on it. John said that we've touched on it before. I've touched on it before. Um, <laughs> touched on. It. I like to say touched on it. Evening, evening, Jonathan. Um, Fishing Fat Man, What is up, Jonathan? Tristan, what's happening? Um, Fishing Fat Man, though? Yeah, Fishing Fat Man's on. Oh, yeah, you're working. Trey's in the house. Fishing Fat Man. Trey, what's up? What's up? Um, touch on proper equipment for big baits and A rigs. That's what That's what I want to talk about tonight. What are we talking about, Frank? Six, six cents strike king and more. I thought I said streaking for a second. Yeah, I'll go streaking with six cents. Ha! Give me some free baits. Jerk baits. I'm all about that. <laughs> Jerk my girk. This is a family channel. Jerking my gherkin. It's not made for kids. We already said uh, that. Metalhead, you're, you're not late. You arrive precisely when you mean to. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's a cute little monster you had there. Who wants to? Compensating? Compensating much? <sighs> Who throws? I mean, Steve's going to be in here. Maybe we'll wait until a few more people come in here. Because Steve's going to come in, and he's going to chime in about his line. I'm still saying hello to people. So. His line. 100%. Corey, good to see you. BC, good to see you. Sean, BC, what's Sean's happening? In the house. Corey, what's happening? Sean's here. Big Sean. Big Sean. So ready for the weekend. Oh. Dude, man, child, we've got preach on. We've got beautiful weather coming. We got like Sunday's Six, gonna be like 65. high sixties. Yeah, yeah. Sunday's gonna be high sixties. Saturday is gonna be Seth. low sixties, high fifties, but super windy. Like <laughs> super windy. I don't know if you guys remember the last time that we. What's up, Seth? The last time that we went out in the kayaks when it was windy. When I nearly died. Yeah, and I nearly flipped. We've got one of those coming up. Did you put that on there? Do I look like the kind of person that yes, would arbitrarily you look litter? Exactly like the kind of person that would arbitrarily litter. I don't like the way you. I like how you always try and. How that's one of your go-to words, arbitrarily. It's a, it's very applicable. Oh man, Al what's up, Alex? Alex. High of nine. Yes. <laughs> New York is just crushing, crushing the temperature game. That's. That's rough, dude. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. Had to rebind this thing. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Big proper show. equipment, you know, proper line, reels, if they're that necessary. What's up, Big John? Oh, my gosh. Um, wow. Let's see here. Little Big Girl. Also hooked my finger, <laughs> slipped into the pot. Nice. <laughs> Nice. No, no sound on the video, dude. Just talk about it. 
Just go and dub over and talk about it. What's yeah. up, little big girl? Don't let that go to waste. Yeah. Um, big John, you probably got some good weather coming up this weekend, dude. Pre spawn conditions are down there in Tejas. Are they already spawning down there? Free spawn like that's what it seems condition. like they're already spawning down there. Fish gone wild. What's happening, bruh? So what? What are you seeing? Now? I'm not. Corey just got orders to Tulsa just in time for the spawn. Oh heck yeah, dude! Bass baits in the house. Did I already say that? What kind of orders are we talking about, Corey? Bass bait. What's up? Do I? Barometric pressure a myth? No, mm. not at all. No. But I think fish will bite if they want to bite. Precisely. Yeah. The amount of fish, that would definitely have a difference. 570 oh, bassin? 570, oh, what's happening? Their behavior is impacted, but I like I won't not fish if the pressure is dropping or rising. It's it's just, oh, I'm going to work harder. All the footage because of the fall sliding mm. on. Dang, that's. White well. BC, what's happening? Fritz Rods, I was looking at were that won't work for swim baits. Oh, the the Fritz Rods you were looking at won't work for swim baits. Five, gotcha. What's five, up, White Whale? Five inches of snow. White Whale, this this conversation is right up your alley, bro. PCS orders. You know what I'm talking about. He yep. didn't say tall but I said that. I didn't know if you were talking like. I mean, I want to know what branch. I want to know like. Wait, oh yeah, we already talked about this. I'm Stupid. <gasps> Why Will's his Huckleberry? Your I'm Huckleberry. Huckleberry. Yeah, not mine. I you could be my movie. Mississippi though. Freaking love that much. I'm gonna kick you out. Forty five degrees approximately. Between forty right now? four and forty seven. Water temp? Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. 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 Except I think um full on pre spawn everywhere else. Nice. Please do more giveaways. Need more tackle. You got the okay. Cast King Magnum Rod. I'm gonna put my Cash App name in my description. So if you guys want giveaways, we can just all pile some money into the pot, and I'll just buy stuff and give it away. Just send uh, Cash App I'll payments do. to it's me Oki, and I'll make sure to distribute those. Uh, Life through the lens. Yes, I do. Alex, Bandit or Six Sense? I'm the, a Six Sense guy. The Fishing Magician. I'm a Six Sense guy all day. Fish magician, thanks, bro. I'm like five away. I'm at 1995. Where's those thumbs up, you suckers? Ni <laughs> 1995 right now. So, Josh, um, Josh. like the lens, yes, I do have that casking magnum rod. That's yes. the eight foot. You got the white max? It is the eight foot magnum swim bait rod, two to eight ounce, extra heavy, fast action. I think it's a moderate fast action. I don't know that it's fast. I think it's more moderate fast. It's all in the hips. That's that's what I think. I mean, I just I haven't noticed as much snap. But I mean, it's kind of like we've talked about before. Different rod companies are gonna they're gonna load differently. You can't get a lose moderate fast and compare it to a cast king moderate fast and think they're gonna be the exact same. How does the average guy measure the parabolic bend and catch fish? Yeah. Catch fish. Still yeah, frozen here. Going to be zero degrees tomorrow with 20 mile power winds. English is my first language. What's the white max? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Do you have the white max? Do I need to? Do I need to go Google it real quick? Isn't that like an Abu reel? It says Cast King. Cast King. I know, but I don't know about a white max. Cast I know the black max from Abu. But that's what I'm saying. To the Google. Yeah, Google that. We Google. Um. White whale still frozen here. Going to be zero degrees tomorrow with 20. Ew, gross, dude. Oh, it's a thing. Oh, that sucks, wow. dude. Would you look at that? Yeah. Oh, look at, oh it is. Oh, who does pretty? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, No, um, I'll tell you right now, I, I probably won't be doing a reel or review on that reel whatsoever. Not because he hates it. Yeah, not because I hate it, but I have plenty of reels right now. And, Oh, it's comparable to the Royal Legend, apparently. So it's comparable to the Spartacus. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't think the Spartacus is as, as good as the Royale. So, Frank, I ordered six cent soft plastic and hard baits and Strike King stuff, a new one. Nice, dude. I've actually got, uh, oh, crap. It is February, and I did order a couple things from Tackle Warehouse. Um, I got the Clout Worm. I'm going to try out their little Cinco bait. 
Uh, I think that's all that I got from their soft plastics. I was thinking about getting some of the divine swim baits, but I am, I've got so many swim baits right now and I'm really only using them on the rig. Um, not really sending them by himself. Except I did, I was clearing up tackle today and I found a bunch of underspins. So I'll probably have those for this weekend. What are we looking at here? Me? Oh, I'm just catching up. Am I frozen? Okay. No, it good. was. Good, good, good. Man, child, finally hit 100 subs. Congrats. Heck on 100 yeah, subs. dude. <laughs> Suspicious tackle box giveaway. I did see that. <laughs> um, tackle warehouse, always be taking money. Is always taking money. Big John, I don't know. Are they still making that? Check uh, Cast King and see if they're still making the, with the Magnum swim bait rod. Okay. I'm pretty sure they are, dude. Back I'm pretty club. sure they are. Cast King, Magnum swim bait. What's up, David? How you doing, dude? Oh, it's the white version of the Stealth. Got it. See, I'm, I'm way, I'm way right here. John G said the clout is awesome. Good. I'm happy to hear that. I'd like to have a Senko. I'm hoping that it's a little more durable than some of the other stick baits out there. But prawns are your favorite. See, I mean, I'm getting into, I'm not getting into, but getting back to slowing it down. No Jigs, way. jig fishing coming up. So what? bass bait. He said he needs some subs. Um, but yeah, the prawn. That's one that I definitely want to. I definitely want to pick up. Um, I've got. The prawn is a lot like that, the X-Zone Adrenaline Bug. And I've got the Adrenaline Bug, so I think that probably once I get to that style of fishing here pretty soon, I'll pick up some prawns and I'll do a comparison between the prawn and the Adrenaline Bug. So, what are you looking at? Where's the, where's your, oh, it's over there on the disc. What? The gift I brought you. You brought me a gift? Yeah, you could. <laughs> Man child, they took your money again. They take my money. They took mine too. It's actually coming tomorrow. Not me. I'm not grossly irresponsible. My BC, the too. melon dust color looks good on the cloud worm. I agree, but here's my thing. And this is this is the salesman in me. When I see it on their website and I see that it's on sale, maybe it's not moving as fast. They've got an overstock which makes me kind of pump brakes on the color when I see it on sale like that. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Mm -hmm. That's hey, I'm just overly skeptical. I don't know. But that's how I look at it from a sales point of view. They've got an overstock, so they want to clear them out. Something to be said about that. <laughs> um, can't find the eight-footer? I couldn't find it. So Really? All I found was a 7.4 Paragee, uh, huh. which I didn't know that there was a 7.4 Paragee extra heavier. I would have bought that. Dang. Right? That's that awesome. sucks. That sucks. Yeah. Um, I will say on this eight footer, like I said, it's not, it's definitely more like a moderate fast, which in the last video, you know, I missed a couple on the, uh, the rising sun with that 10 aught beast hook in there. And I think because there just wasn't enough snap to get that hook. And it was a bad hook set on my part too, but I would just expect a little more from an extra heavy and a fast action. That's why I think it's more of a moderate fast then fast. Fair enough. <laughs> River. <laughs> he said, I feel like this video is aimed at me. Yeah, you're one of the examples, pal. You're definitely going to be one of the examples. So is, so is John. Well, so am I. $150 swim bait thrown off. Um, I watched that. About that over my head, by the way. Cousin Eddie, did you get to sooner? Yes, I did, but they were not generating water. We just we walked in, we hiked in. The video's up. It was brutal conditions. But no, they were not generating water at all. So it was a complete bust at Sooner, but we were able to relocate and get on a few that night. Do you have any of the black uh, crawl colored crankbaits from Six Cents? No. Do you have any of the black? No, I don't have any of the black magic. Mm -hmm. No, but I love them. I've, I mean, I see them catch a lot. Bass bait, dude. I don't know who won the last giveaway. I've, I've done so many. Like, I, I bet. I don't think it was you. I I'll bet. tell you that much. And I mean this with all due respect, but yeah. I bet if you go back and watch that video, you'll be able to find it pretty quick. Yeah, it's, it's probably about halfway through there. <laughs> Respectfully, of course. Um. Uh, check out Texas Reel and Fishing when this is over. He's a good dude. Yep. Also, the Divine Swim Baits. Ross. Awesome on the Chatterbait. Yep. Ross the Boss. 
Oh, where, did, where was the chatterbait coming Frank, he's losing money to Amazon and eBay. <laughs> you know, people keep, like Steve, the OK Fisherman, tells me to check eBay all the time, and I just haven't been, like, I haven't been a fan What's of up, eBay shops in a long time. I, I, yeah. like, I, I love my Amazon, but he gets such good deals on eBay, and I, I need to get back into it. Yeah, dude, I don't, I've never, I don't think I've ever bought anything off eBay. Honestly, sweet potato I don't think I've ever done where, um, where, where's the bass bait? What would be the best bait now? I mean, that's sort of subjective. Where it, de- it would depend on where you're at. What would be the best bait now? It de- yeah, it really depends on where you're at. The best bait for here in Oklahoma right now is definitely the fucking A-Rig. But we're definitely getting more towards swim baits as well. Yeah. It's getting to be swim bait time. Um, as soon as that spawn hits, creature baits, man. Start yeah. Throwing baby brush hogs and uh, rage crawls and hitting those beds. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hit the beds, but I mean, throw a swim bait. Oh, those beds yeah, too, yeah. you know. But you know, I didn't get to watch it yet. I've been, I'm so far behind on watching videos, guys. I, I've got a big transition period going on. Store is shut down. I'm home every day with the kids. I don't have a workspace per se, so I'm taking care of the kids during the day. So I mean, I have not been watching videos. I am so far behind on so many things, and I finally got my desktop back here at the house. Um, Got a little bit of a workspace now, so I feel like I can get caught back on all your guys' videos and start, you know, being a little more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A little more up to date, a little more knowledgeable. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a weird a weird transition period for me. What's up, Chase? How you doing, man? Chatterbaits have been killing it here as well. I, I wasn't even thinking about that. I just haven't thrown chatterbaits since last spring. Big dreaming. What is up? For the black magic crawl baits, we haven't used them yet. Clone boys. I agree. They look so good. Big dreaming. I got you, bossa boss. Quake, <laughs> Quake seventy. Cousin Eddie. Clone bait. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I'd like to learn to paint like that. That'd be cool. Lucky Craft Sammy one twenty eight for ten bucks. Dang. Michael Hawkins and Preston Martin both in the house. Welcome guys. Welcome. What is up, Michael? What's up, Preston? Preston was one of the winners. I don't know that. Yeah, I remember Preston that. One. That's one. Man, you're right. Dude, the, Ross, NTA. catching dinks or not, dude, at least you're catching fish. That's the best thing. Catching right, fish. Right, right, right. Um, Quake 70 in Texas. Hey, Bass Bait, you're going to have to, like, give, give context. And What again, is the best fluke brand? Yeah, I don't, I don't mean to be rude, but the, that's the end of that. Yeah, I would say probably the most – Common fluke would be uh, zoom. Heavy salt, good sink, yeah. great action good, to them. Good action, yeah. That's what I would say. Alex was killing on flukes. Uh, NTF, what's up, dude? It's crazy. But zooms, yeah. Best. Just Preston, what did you win, dude? Was it was it a swim bait? I thought I thought he got the beat. Or was it the box? Yeah, the swim bait. It was yeah. the box. I can't. Ross the boss. I'm in Katy, Texas, but love fishing in Oklahoma when I go. Dude, yeah. Oklahoma's got – I mean, I, I've i got – there's there's double-digit fish here. I'm going to catch one. I'm going to catch one. I'm going to prove it. There's a lot of freaking do it. fish here. I'm going to freaking do it. Yeah. Guys, chime in for bass bait right there. You know, Frank said Zoom flukes are hard to beat. I agree. What areas are best to target in this cold still <laughs> – in this cold dude um where we've been seeing them is deep and chasing schools of shad i don't know if you have any kind of sonar anything to find the bait fish but find the bait fish and follow that's the best thing that you can do Brent. follow the shad around cast into them cast above them cast below them i think most of them are kind of like in the schools trailing behind the schools or below the schools but if you can't, if you have no form or no way to find the bait fish, like when me and John go in the kayaks, fish deep and check the grass lines. That's cover that's water. Really about it. Cover Just water. Cover water. Hey, there's there's 33 of y'all now and only 16 thumbs up. I will muscle the hell out of every one of you. Brett's here. Push the button. <laughs> What's shaking? Ba- I want some bacon. Yes, here. River. I want some bacon. Bacon sounds so and Preston S O B D shed swim bait. I think so, I think Preston's just saying. Oh swim bait, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Get it. 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 Get it.
Preston, no, I was supposed to mail them today, but we had doctor's appointments, so I'm going to have to get them out tomorrow. I still got them right here. Calvin, what's up, dude? Yeah. Calvin caught his first fish of 2020. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Nice. A 16 inch trout. Heck yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up, you boomer? <laughs> Brett. Hey there, boomer. Brett is uh, <laughs> opening that can of worms. There we go. Cousin Eddie. Casual. Casual's got a good good tip for you, Cousin Eddie. That case. Uh, <laughs> that case. I can't even think of another flute, flute bait company other than Zoom. Yeah, that's, that's, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Serviceable, not great. Mm. I haven't got my my box yet. I can share my opinion, right? I have seen it, and I'm in no rush to get it. It's stuck at the post office right now. It's it's not my favorite one. Mitch is in the and house. The, the problem, and I just want to chime in very quickly yeah. here, is that they set the bar so high last month with that Strike King box that – a lot of guys are disappointed. If we hadn't seen the Strike King box the month before, this would be considered a very serviceable box, right? It's, it's nice. It's got good baits in it. But everybody's complaining that it didn't measure up the last month. Plus, I'm tired of spinning baits. That's just my opinion. Yeah. Me, personally, um, knowing what Jason Christie is capable of, I expected a little bit more. I think it was. But like John said, you know, and like a lot of people said, and like I said, last month's box is going to be hard to beat. Very hard to beat. Um I just – I expected a little bit more. And I, I know, Backyard. Like, everybody I, loves spinnerbaits, but I hate them. <laughs> Strike King Caffeine Shed. Dude, the Caffeine Shed. Yeah, that's a good fluke. That's a very good one. I'm not familiar. I'm going to have to Google that one, too. I got it in the side pocket of my bag there. I'm not going to look. There's all kinds of stuff. Behind it. Yeah. Frank. What's Frank got his rod? box destroyed. God, What's dude. a good rod for the Spro Rat 50? V&M flukes are good, too. Um – a good rod for the Spro Rat 50. It would kind of depend on the, the weight. Okay, let's get into this. Let's <laughs> talk. All right. Proper – the need for proper equipment. If there's questions, I'm going to have to – I'm relying on you. Yeah, I got you, my, my friend. Now, let's talk about first things first. Should we call the reel or the rod first? Well, well, well let's talk about the rod first, right? Okay. Well, let's start even more granular than that. Let's talk about line first. Well, I was going to tie line into the room. Okay, we'll do that. Well, we'll talk about line. So okay. line in particular, you want to share your story yeah. on proper so, line? Okay, here, here. Let's set this over here so you can keep up with comments without having to look down real quick. So Stretch this last I weekend, I went out on a solo yak trip, and I'm throwing the A-Rig. What was that? It's called the uh, – what's that mini A-Rig called? Uh – it's Flash Mob Jr. Yeah, Flash Mob Jr. But I had it on my swim bait rod. Everything was going fine. Had a little bit of a malfunction. Backlash the swim bait rod and thought to myself, well, I've got another <laughs> serviceable reel in my yak crate. I'm just going to throw it on. Not thinking, right? It didn't even register. I was just having good luck. I didn't want to ruin the day. So I throw my other reel on, get tied on, make a couple of casts, get hung up, snap my line, lose my A-rig because so, I – was throwing 15 pound fluoro. First off, Jonathan said, Hell, I'd take the monster bass over the MTB box they put together this month. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay, so talking about line in particular, I have a similar story. Um, not even similar. I didn't get snagged at all. I had gotten a, uh, a bunch of the 316 lures sent to me, and I wanted to take the freestyle shad out, and I threw it out there, and I had it on the rod, proper rod for it. But the line that I had on there was 17 pound fluoro, and it was older line. I hadn't checked or anything like that. And about three casts in, line bit into the spool, and it snapped. Same. And it went, yeah, went flying. So proper line is 100% probably the most important thing. You got to have proper line. Now me, and I attribute this to Chris because he gave it to me, but um, and I've got more. The P-Line CXX, 25-pound moss green. That stuff is – who was it? Ben. Ben called it whale rope. Um, right, yeah. It is extremely tough, very strong. That tree that I pulled up was on that line. 
I tried breaking it off. I was pulling straight. I tried to do everything in my power to get that line to break, and it could not break. See, it would not break. It brought that rock, that tree right up. I did that too earlier in the day with a 25-pound line, but I bent I bent the hook straight on one of my jig heads on the A-rig uh, when I, I thought I was going to lose it. And so, I don't know. It was just it – it was a dumb mistake on my part. Some people saw it live. So, Steve throws the uh, – what was it? Trilene Big Game? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's big Game. Guy. And uh, that's another really good line. The mm-hmm. only line that I – and I'm not knocking any other line. I need you guys to chime in on what lines you like. But I'm going to tell you my personal recommendation is the CXX. The P line is cheap. I want to say this 500 yards. Yeah, 500 yards of this was 20-something, 15, 20, yeah, maybe 25. Minutes. Not even 25, I don't think. But line, probably the most important, 100%. Next. Next most important thing is going to be your rod. So a lot of guys know this, but check the weight requirements or the weight recommendations on your rod. So this is one of my cast king. It's the Speed Demon Frog. It's 7.2, heavy, but it's a 1 to 4 ounce weighted or rated rod. So this I will throw swim baits on. I've got it lined up with that CXX now. I was throwing the the freestyle on this, and it threw just fine until bad line bit into the spool, broke off. Now, for the A-Rig, here's the thing to think about with the A-Rig is you got to think about the weight of the rig itself. Flash Mob Jr. is super lightweight, but then you got to take into account the jig heads that you put on there. So you're putting five jig heads on there. Yeah, eighth-ounce jig heads on on average probably. Mm Mm-hmm. So then you're up over, what, close to an ounce now? Yeah. And then you throw on your swim baits. So you're probably sitting around two ounces on that right there. So you got to think about the rod and can it handle that amount of weight. And then the reel. The reel, I don't know that it's 100% necessary for a swim bait reel if you're throwing smaller rigs, even smaller swim baits. Like this is like two and a half ounces right here. I don't know that it's 100% necessary. I don't want to get caught up in that because it's very easy to get caught up in that and think that I need to buy a Trinx. I need to buy a Lexa. I need to buy an Okuma Komodo. I'm throwing a $50 Bass Pro Tourney Special. And that handled it perfectly like a because you caught fish on the A-Rig on that reel. Two, two questions really quick. Um, oh, oh, John G wants to know why not throw a braid for the A-Rig. I think it comes down to water clarity. I'm sure braid would help a lot, but when we've been live scoping these fish and seeing how finicky they are looking at the rig, I don't know that they would give it a second look in some of the water that we've been in with the clarity with having that braid trailing. And I'm not going to do a leader. I I will not do a leader. I know some guys will. I won't. Um, I believe in keeping it simple. If you tie a leader, you've got an extra spot that can break. Yeah, and – Backyard, your point on swim bait reels made for the bigger baits. There's a lot of truth in that too. But I think we're talking about like your average. Um, obviously, if you're getting into the like, what are the ones that Steve throws? Like ten inch, mm-hmm. uh, you know, five and a half, six ounce, or heavier swim baits. Obviously, you're going to want to have something other than this. Not only you're going to warp your spool, but you're probably going to end up, uh, yep. you know, well. No, he's just going to tear your gear. You're one hundred percent right, Greg. On that, my thing is that you know if we're talking to guys that are just getting into this stuff, and they don't have you know two hundred dollars to go spend on a swim bait reel, you can make it happen. You're not going to get out as far, and you're not going to want to throw as heavy a baits. Right. But you know if you are just getting into it, get proper line. Make sure your rod can handle it. Start off small. Combat jigs. What's happening, dude? He, uh, he uses straight braid, has no issues with the A-Rig, but then again, there's very low pressure. Yeah, very true. Yeah, a lot of guys do the Sharpie trick too, right? Yeah, yeah. What have we missed here? There was a lot. There was a lot going on there for a few minutes. I failed. I failed, Alex. I failed my job. No, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, John G. Jonathan, Sharpie. Did Jonathan said MF question mark? Is that like mother... Or MF or Millican fishing? Maybe. 
Berkeley Fireline. No, that's a hard pass. Hey, don't Preston. ever buy spider wire either. Preston said, read my last comment. I'll choke slam a panda if I catch you throwing spider wire. Where's Preston's comment? Uh, here? I'm looking for Preston right now. Preston, Preston. Give me a favor. I'd like to donate that swim back to the first youngster. You got it, dude. That's awesome. That's awesome. So Preston won one of the swim baits, and he just said to give it away to the first youngster that I see fishing, and I will do just that. I'll carry it around with me. I'll throw it in my bag. I'll throw it in the box. And <laughs> no spider wire. I'll do no, exactly that. No, kick Greg out of the chat right now. That's awesome, Preston. Thank Get him you, out. Dude. Get him out of here. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> Cascade makes a $99 reel at the throw. Yeah, you got what is it? Uh Big John, it's the uh Oh man. He sent it to me and I can't remember. I'll I'll wait for him to talk about it. Screw spider wire awesome. <laughs> now I think it also comes down to where you're getting your line from. Okay, there's I'm big on that, that. That's probably very, true. very big on that. Like if you're getting spider I'm, wire from Walmart, it's yeah, cheap. It was it's a, cheap. I'm sorry, Greg. Cheap stuff. You can be involved so, again. Come back. Cheap stuff. Um, spider wire from say like Bass Pro, probably a lot Spartacus better. Spartacus Maximus. <laughs> Good smaller swim bait to start off with. If you have a seven four heavy fast action, Frank. dude, those uh, BD shads are great. Um, the baby bull shed is great. Check the the ounce rating on your rod and yep. kind of go off of that. Do maybe three quarters <laughs> of the weight to you know half of the weight. <laughs> he just called me Ochi. That hurts too. Abu fifty five hundred reels will handle. I had a sixty five hundred no fifty five hundred C that was phenomenal. I wish I wouldn't have let my brother have it. Jerk. Sure. Brett, I'm not going to lie, I use spider wire, but I'm still new to fishing. Dude, it's all good. You got to figure out what works for you. And if you're not having trouble with it, then yeah. who am I to judge, yeah. right? But I. Spartacus I just, Maximus. That's I, the casting I, reel. I had some trouble. Spartacus button disengages in the middle of my kit. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. This right here, this, this Spartacus, like every third cast, that button will click. And, yeah. Uh, but the one that. Big John's talking about the Spartacus Maximus. That is a uh, that's a heavier reel. Yeah, it's different than yeah. that. Deeper spool, bigger line capacity. <laughs> that makes a big difference. Big big difference in there. Um, but also, yeah. So I mean, you got to think about the action of the rod too. So kind of like I was talking about with the Rising Sun and those big owner beast hooks. That ten knot, I was able to get you know a couple fish on that. But that rod in particular, I don't think it's a fast action. I really don't. Um, it's great for the rig because it loads up so well, and those jig hooks are a little more fine, a little more fine wire. So they penetrate great and hooks up and loads awesome. Six gill rods that Bobo sell. You ever tried any of those? Hell no. Nope. I will never... Sorry, I'm never gonna try six gill. I've I'm in a couple of Facebook groups and I've seen nothing but bad reviews on those, unless they're pro staff and they're gonna talk them up. But again, it comes down to sales because I've been doing sales for so long. When you've got BOGO sales, I mean, I did BOGO sales so many times when I had overstock of product. It's this stuff isn't moving, so I'm going to do a buy one get one sale to get it out of my store and try and comp back some of the money. So when I see stuff like that, I'm always leery. That's that's how I look at it. I'm skeptical in that sense. Look What's up, guys, Colton? Look at you guys supporting each other in the chat, too. Change the P line. What do you think yep. about the Shimano SLX DC? Ah, mother! <laughs> you just can't get away from hooks, dude. Oh, <clears throat> dude. The SLX DC is fantastic. I freaking love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, I said I was going to use it for flipping, but I got a video dropping tomorrow morning, and that was my first time throwing it, and love it. It's it's amazing. The sound on it is 100% addictive. Man-child, yeah, a lot of complaints on the six gill. So I haven't picked up the, the KVD Quantum Rod. Yeah. 
six. Now six, I think the KVD. The reason they're doing that quantum is because KVD left. So uh, six cents glide bait opinion. Have not tried them yet. They Big look, John throws a glide bait though. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, does anybody have the 47 from Doomsday? I love the look of that rod. Love it. John G's asking about that. 47 from Doomsday. Should be getting the Corrado DC in the next week or two. Nice, dude. Colton Pratt, the donkey catching hunky. I've been I actually got to throw one of those um this past weekend. I love those. Love them. Ooh, okay. Paul Sums in the house. So Greg said KVD rods aren't that great. I've had several of them. That sucks. What's up, Paul? X Six Sense Glide is nice. XPS Glide all day. Dude, I'm – what glide do I have? The uh, Mega Bass, the Ice Slide. Electric. The 135 Ice Slide. Let me throw in that. You, you hate quantum reels? This is basically a quantum reel. You talking to this guy right here? XPS? XPS Glide Bait right there? That right there is a River C S waiver knockoff. And it works just as well. Just as well. And I, I say just as well, but I've I've seen a little bit of roll in it. A little more roll than I'd like. The BD shed is actually nice, so uh it's got a it's got a great action. You just gotta be careful and pay attention when you're ordering because some float, some sink. Um, uh, the, the five inches sink, they've got a slow sink. I think the six inch floats, right? Well, they've got no, like, because they're doing a closeout right now. Um, now I think they're all floating. I think they're all floating Even because they did, yeah, they had a fast sink, a slow sink, and a floating version, but they're doing a closeout on Tackle Warehouse. But floating is coming up. That, that bite's about to be on. Uh, right. River, the Viridian series is favorite yeah and it's a it's a full combo it's a reel and a rod wow. from them it's like 100 bucks um i honestly think that it's probably the same blank and everything they use for the guggen combos because they probably had a whole bunch of those before that split happened so i wouldn't be surprised if they're very similar to that which Wait. those look like good rods as far as the reel i don't know that i would put any faith in that reel why did that get flagged I don't know. SLX XT. <laughs> yeah, Colton and I were chatting during my live stream when I lost the A-Rig. It was that beautiful. I'm going to be a celebrity, you guys. Colton, the uh, donkey catching honky, is going to have me in one of his videos. Thanks for the invite, Colton. Let's see if I ever hop on yours again. Ooh. <laughs> we got beef. Uh, let's see What's here. Say? Oh, um, any of you guys throw any of the favorite reels? Yeah, anybody have any of the Solus or the Solus XCS? Soft, uh, Scott was throwing one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, they shimmy when they sink. So do I, head case. But I mean, I, I saw it just straight up roll to its side. I mean, a whole lot more roll. I don't mind a little bit of a wobble there. But a complete roll to the side, I don't know. Could have been the wind. Could have been, you know, fishing it too fast. Pick up the 140 flow glide. Oh, got, because uh, oh. I think it was, was it Metalhead? You got a trash fish on the wall? No, but where's that box at? Right here. Lower lock. So that question was, if we're not throwing the A-Rig, what are we throwing? And I'll be throwing... A trash fish. Or a HUD. Either one. I'm probably not going to be throwing a HUD. Um, I got some eight, the, I got some 7-inch uh, Kytec fats, and those things are nasty. So, trash fish. Mm, it gets me damp. Right there. Be throwing that guy. Um, this is the one that I caught that 5 on the last video. 5-inch Rising Sun. I've only seen a little bit of, a little bit of wear and tear. Uh, I've also got six and three quarter inch with a. Uh, Where's the glide that you had? That X flash bang right there. Got that. Um, I'll be throwing the Mega Bass I Slide 135 glide as well. I don't know if you guys have seen those action. 
but the 180, 180 degree turn they do. What about the XBS? Yeah, somebody was asking about that. Here you go. Oh, sorry. There's what Alex was holding up there. Look at the, the colors on that. I got oh, some line through swim baits. I got a BD shad in here. I got a Mega Bass shad in here. There was I got jerk one? baits and a Curve 55. Which one? That's what I have loaded up for this weekend when I'm not throwing the A rig. So this one is the Ninja Dual Glide, the Dual Swimmer, Dual Ninja, Hardcore Dual Ninja Swimmer. Yeah, that's the name of it. Yeah, I got a hook for that, just by the way. This is that's a good slide. Can't get but... into the big swim baits. So I couldn't get into the big swim baits either until I went fishing with the OK Fisherman and watched that guy throw swim baits bigger than my head and catch fish. Yeah, I think, man, child, when you get into the big swim baits, and I'm just as guilty of this because I was like, no, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I'm, I'm fishing just fine right now. It's fun. It is 100% addicting. It's a different kind of bite. It's a different kind of fight. Um, it's just addicting, but it's a good question. It's very expensive. Well, two good questions, actually. Uh, Mega Bass Spark Shed. So, how do you like that so far? And then the second was for soft body swims. Uh, are they worth it or do they mess up pretty quick? So Steve, the OK Fisherman, has got some some soft body swim baits that look like they've been backed over by his truck, uh, ran over by the lawnmower. I mean, they they look like hell. You wouldn't just looking at it, you wouldn't throw it, but he still catches fish on them. So I think it depends on the man, bait manufacturer, right? Mm -hmm. Some some are probably super soft plastic. Guys have complained about the tails falling off of those, but uh, I. I haven't really noticed. Spark Shed, Colton, I love it. Um, I have seen it. I mean, I how's it taste? Uh, I just went through. I actually just replaced my first one, but probably after multiple. Want to taste it? <laughs> <laughs> I just replaced my first one, my first four inch on the A rig. Um, very durable. Very happy with those. I got the five inch as well. And I got the five inch for a trailer, but I've really been liking the uh, X Zone Mega Swimmer. They've got it's a uh, yeah the five and a half inch. This one right here. Which were the Japanese baits that you ended up with that you couldn't read how to run the hook through or Mega Bass? Was that what those were? Yeah. Yeah. This this one I like. I like the. Yeah, the that's been my wobble wobble. That's my center. Mend it. Where did that A rig go? Mend it is a life oh, saver. Um, I try the six cent swim baits. Uh, the way I got my A rig. Ah! A rig set up. I like to have all white on the outside and one darker in the middle, but I didn't have any whites with me the day that I threw that extra spark shad on there. But and that's the hog farmer big rig. That's the big rig. What am I missing here? What? Have you tried the six cents swim baits yet? I'm sure Big John has. The I swim haven't. bait, like they're like the divine swim baits? No. I have not. I had said like I wanted to get some of those, but I've just got a plethora of swim baits right now to where there was no point in me buying uh, any of the divine swim baits. It looked good. I've seen plenty of reviews on them. But no, I don't have any. I will get some eventually, I'm sure. I did order some of the uh, that hybrid swim bait, jerk bait, not jerk bait, but it's like a, a wake bait. I don't know what it is. It's brand new. I got a swim bait guy now. All head case? Yeah. We've been a we've been a change of the game. One swim bait at a time. Head case and I were going to the top. So, Brett, I'm curious, though, like going back to the soft body swim baits, are we talking like the big body swim baits, like the line throughs, like stuff like this, like the weedless ones, or are you talking like a Kitex style? Swim crank? What kind of talk? Yes. Yes, Paul. Thank you. White plastic. Alex loves throwing white plastics, and I've, I've yep. never caught any fish on it. But, man, you slayed that day yep. with the white bandito bugs. You just absolutely killed it. Greg's back. Lost power. Because of the weather? Probably because um, of a stupid spider wire. 
So White Whale, there we go. White Whale's got a lot of knowledge here. <laughs> right. Scott's producer, 316, 715, all make great quality. Right Unreg log, large soft swim baits. Burrito baits make great pre rig soft swim baits. Nice. Get out of here, man. <laughs> OG. OG. Bassmasters here. What's up, dude? Well, What's up, go. Raymond? It's never going to stop raining in Memphis. No. Are you in North Memphis? No. Are Don't you, you live in like a residual, residual rainforest, something like that? Michigan. Um, what else we got planned for this weekend? Uh, what do we have planned for this weekend? Throw in the rig. Not drowning. Yeah, not drowning. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not nice, Greg. Beast uh, Coast Miyagi. No. I have not used those yet. I've got some what? of the uh, – what are these? I've got the Chaos Shads. I've got those sitting behind me because um, I've got – what's up, Hannah? I like specifically – of uh where i want to throw those because i got the the hatchery born little rainbow trout chaos Jim, shed jimmy's in the house what's up jimmy elliptical what's happening Apparently hannah didn't even greet me what the hell <laughs> i told you she likes me more i'll fight would you, you say i have a plethora of pinatas plethora he doesn't know that he doesn't know that three amigos what reel have you been using for the A-Rig, and what is the gear ratio? Uh, the reel I've been using for that is that Okuma Komodo SS 364, and the gear ratio is 6. 6. 6. I don't know. The it's beard's taped on anyway. This is fake. He puts it on for every video, guys. Yeah, it's really glued on good. Yeah. What were we, we were talking about this weekend? Plans for this weekend? So not drowning, possibly getting in the X. Not possible. We're getting in the X. Getting in the X. Yeah, we're getting in the X. Not and drowning. We're catching big fish. Double digit fish. Double digit. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Big bass energy. This weekend, I had a dream about it. We need to start. A, we need our own hashtag. Not it's a whale because that's stupid. We don't want to do that. But yeah, it's like whales, way stupid. Yeah, whoever said that's a freaking doucher. All right. What a doucher. Like, big bass energy. I like that one. Oh, look, that man's back talking to everybody. <laughs> Chocolate milk breaking out of the. Every lake will be muddy yeah. in Texas. Big John, every lake, yeah. pretty much every lake here too. The wind just destroys us. Exactly, Trey. That's put positive energy into the universe, which is what this little goblin over here preaches at me all the time. And you get it back. I don't know why you're talking so much on me. God, you're so angry. Which part? You're which part so is angry busy? right now? You know what? Are you I'm disinviting you, you to fish this weekend. Listen, you overgrown log. I'm not going to deal with this. Disinviting you. You can't. Disinviting is not even a word. Yeah. Uninviting. Is. No, disinviting. No, you can't. Everyone tell them that disinviting I'm, is a word. You need to disinfect your 100% face. 100% board. I'm not even angry. Oh, man child shaved his beard and went from man child to man baby. Man. John has to grow a beard man. to hide his like three chins. Two. <laughs> Two chins and third neck. <gasps> <laughs> um, Hold up. Yeah, Raymond. No. I mean,. We're not getting a ton of rain, but it seems <laughs> right. every Wednesday is my day to fish Rapal. during the wait during the week, and it rains every Wednesday for like the past four weeks. Rapala. I heard dripping your beard in chartreuse garlic scent will increase your number of bites. Ooh, I'll do that. I'll do that one hundred percent. It's gonna smell terrible. Uh. <laughs> oh dang. Oh, Mike's not in here. <laughs> Korean machine not here. Yeah, you have a beer too, though. I mean, that works. Hannah still hasn't greeted me at all. Yeah, because she likes me more. Now she's going to. She's going to feel obligated. Yeah, like now. I think now, you should stick to like your a, guns, Hannah, and de like just hit delete right now. It's like Don't a pity greeting. Don't even say hi, hi to John. Him. Just completely leave him out. Leave him out 100%. God, what a jerk. I watched her fish in the rain. I supported her for like 37 minutes. Eight inches of rain Sunday. Good load of mighty. Good load. Oh. Maryland. Dude, I heard Maryland's got some big, oh. some big fat. Uh-oh. How do you block somebody? <laughs> Chat, man. How do, you, how do you block somebody? Are you blocking me or her? Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> the beard. River, we've seen your little, like, River has the cutest Dude, little mustache. Yeah, I don't even, it ain't no beard, bro. With all due respect. <laughs> Greg's going to report her spam. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Greg's got my back. Dis- dis- disinvite them. That's it. It's not even a word. Yeah, disinvite. Told you. It's not a word. I like how she, like, after saying hi to everybody else, then she says something to you. It, it does feel kind of like a pity greedy yeah, guy. Yeah, it's totally pity. That's like, it's like middle school type stuff. Like, mm. like she signed your yearbook and said, stay cute. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you just completely lost I it. I love you like a brother. <laughs> We look like a couple in this picture, like a couple of friends. Yeah, we do talk every day, though. <laughs> oh, man. You can comb over. The- oh, my gosh. Do the comb over beard, yeah. Check this out. Look, look, okay. Look at, Very boy. pressured pond. Large pond. Any suggestions? What have you had bites on out there, Paul? You're kind of kind of thinning back there, pal. No, that's just where it's laid down. You shut your Yeah, no, it's, it's thinning. Oh. It's all the... That's all the steroids you they took. I didn't even take any steroids. Um, pressure ponds. I want to know what they're like, what the forage is, and what they're biting. Mm-hmm. If they're biting, they're biting anything. Chatterbaits. Well, forage is important too. No. Yeah, but chatterbaits. <laughs> Alex's beard gives good back rubs. <laughs> uh, dude, he makes it super awkward. We got cold on the boat last time, and he like. Like, oh yeah! Like monkey I'm all about hugged. Making, I'm all, all about making him. it awkward. He's like, oh, like, you're so warm. If you if you haven't been in the army, like I mean, there's no there's no way that you can make stuff not awkward. It's the person that's making it awkward. Uh, yeah, drop shotting, right? I I'm a big fan of drop shotting. You still you? I mean, you did a little bit there towards the end of the season. But. Yeah, a little bit. Drop shot here and there with small swim bait on it. John's right. Going finesse style. Going mm-hmm. a little bit slower. Ned rigs, cranks, and I see people chucking huge huds. You must have a deep pond, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like Whoa. John said, drop shot. Somebody was throwing an A rig in our uh, honey hole, remember? Yeah. Yeah, the A rig that I mm-hmm. that I found that he snagged and lost. Um, oh, that was that one? Yeah. Oh man, I'm going back for it. Yeah, dude, Paul, definitely. This time of year, not too much grass. This time oh, I just got um, a video. A good one that I like, also, like the uh, the Curve 55 from Six Cents. If you've got, you know, like you said, like very little grass right now. If you got any rocks or anything like that, that's going to be really good. Oh, that looks like a little trashy. Nice. <laughs> Heck yeah. Slow it down, finesse style, it, Paul. Yeah, sorry, not to get distracted. Um, very deep, huge bass in there that are tens. Dang, nice. Dang, nice. Yeah, dude, I would definitely slow it down, go finesse style, mm-hmm. like John said, especially drop shotting. Um, get you a uh, HUD style, but I mean, it doesn't even have to be a HUD because I mean they are. Pricey, and that's that sucks to lose. Get you a, a line through that you can get the uh, hook on the top, a top hook line through that that makes a big difference. Has a dam. I had a yeah. Yeah, I followed. You're good. Yep. So it has a dam. That's where I had really good um, good luck on or with the curve fifty five. Oh yeah. Over on the dam. Alex is not allowed to leave the state. I can leave the state whenever I want. You're the one that's always leaving for work. We need to go to the classic, though. When is that? When is the classic? What's classic? Do you know? Me? Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not going to tell you. Oh, do you? <laughs> do you know? He doesn't even know. He's sitting here saying, yeah, we should go to the classic. Can I say we should go to the classic? When is it? Oh, don't know. Later Ooh, this year. I don't know. Hey, if Greg's going, I'll be there. Yeah, it's March 6th through the 8th. Everybody knows that. <laughs> oh, look, see? <laughs> Lipless cranks. Still not throwing them. Not doing it. Who would even say that in the chat? We have a rule good. against... <laughs> <laughs> we have a rule against saying lipless cranks in the chat. No. No. 
Beaver Bend Classic. Whoa. <laughs> um, you know what? I think I might throw one this weekend. What? A lipless. That little 13. I'll, I'll disenfriend you. That 13. It's unfriend. It's disinvite and unfriend. 100%. Let's just make stuff up. Okay. I can do that. Ripping, ripping the little blister of grass makes me want to punch myself in the tank. Yeah. Yep. Ripping the little blister of the grass. I'm not doing it. They work for a lot of guys. They just... They just have not... I'm telling you, right now, we're just not getting a whole lot of reactionary type bites. And maybe it's because we're chasing such big fish. Uh, the but, only thing I caught on lipless last year was that stupid catfish that caused me to get hooked in the thumb while I was alone, had to fight a catfish <laughs> attached to my hand while freaking out. <laughs> Hey, go check out Oki Outdoor Adventures. No, I have not heard anything about Laurent sewing. That's great. I wonder to whom. Huh. Hummingbird? They just came out with new stuff, too. Wow. I don't know anything Look at about that. John is a... There's lipless John. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw it before you retracted the message. John, we got it. Now you gotta lose what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh one rod has fished that pond before, which has brought a lot more people. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. This one kind of sucks, man. You know, and I, I talk about this. I actually had a conversation with a guy um that I ran into at a pond that I found on Google Maps. I was walking over there just kind of waste time one night and throw some baits and I crest up over this hill and he's <laughs> he's crouched down retying and I said, Holy shit. He looked up and I was like, he's like "You scared the fuck out of me." I scared you too. Victor's <laughs> Oh no, not that kind of lipless. Boy. Nobody likes that. No, <laughs> nobody likes. Um, oh yeah, but oh, YouTube fishing. Small ponds, little honey holes, anything like that. I mean, it sucks, but eventually it's it's bound to happen. We, you know, we're seeing it happen. Stuff's going to get blown out. We're seeing it happen on one of our favorite lakes, too, which yeah. is really unfortunate. Which I really blame um, that guide for that. Yeah. I blame him 100%. Yeah. He's you know got close to 40,000 followers on Facebook, and he takes pictures out there, and anybody who knows it can see it. And now, I mean, you saw it this past weekend, four boats out there. Yeah, so when we, we used to go out, we would be the only two all day. It we might see maybe one, boat. one guy, yeah. Yep. It was out there crappie fishing. Right? Yep. Bay Boy's in the house. What's up, dude? Okay, let's see here. Yeah, you'll be all right. Uh, right River. Bay's just released a new lipless. I'm so tired of hearing about <laughs> I'm kidding. Impala. We're here in Impala. <laughs> Favorite shaky head worm, not 10 inches. Had to read that with punctuation on my head there because that got awkward. Favorite <laughs> shaky headed worm, not 10 inches. Not uh, 10 inch? Or is that a shot because I was throwing a shaky head with that 10 inch? Yeah, I probably worm? was. <laughs> um, six cents, their uh, their divine shaky worm looks really good. The slim shake is good. Um, Say goodbye to man child. Later, man child. Let's see here. Favorite shaky head worm, not 10 inches. I don't know. The Rage Cutter is good, too. I like that. I like that worm a lot. Actually, I'm going to use that as a speed worm this year. Pretty pumped for that. The only lipless I'm interested in throwing, stop talking about it, is the <laughs> suspending. Is that what the thud is? is... What's up, Anthony? Zoo man. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, John knows. The bull worm from Strike King. There you go. Zoom finesse worm. Not the zoo, the zoom finesse. <laughs> if you Get draw it. lips on the bait, is it still lipless? <laughs> a fair question. <laughs> Jeremy said I tried and it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes it'll work. You can't. Uh, Big John's back. I don't know. Backyard, yeah, you're coming to fish in our backyard. I don't have any water in my backyard, though. Well, there's plenty of lakes we could probably take you to. Greg, come on up, dude. 
Come on up. If it's the Fed, then yeah, I'm good with it. Actually, actually, he'd be coming down. Yeah, come on down. Come on down, Greg. Because like I said, I, I'm catching a double digit. I'm doing it this year. This week is going to happen. I've missed three to four, maybe five at this point now, double digit fish. And I mean, it's Chris said to me, he's like, you can only miss him so many times, which kind of hurt my feelings and made me feel good at the same time. I missed the PB. So, yeah, you definitely did. Yeah. I've missed multiple eights, but I've missed three to four double digits all day. Favorite jerk bait that's not the Mega Bass? Greg, we don't have to fit three in your boat. Two will go, two will do. Two will be just fine. We might hit the late with the weight limit with this guy in there. You are the next contestant on. Is the OG <laughs> right? right? No, he's not. So now I'm called Shrek OG. What else believe in my worm? Worm is tinged. Yeah, don't don't hold up that anaconda worm. Okay, so guys, if I was to be in Oklahoma for forty five four to five days this summer, what are the odds that we can get together and fish? Hundred percent. One hundo. Hundred percent. Maybe not this guy. He might be traveling for two weeks. But That's true. Hundred percent. I'll make time for you, Colton. Even though you don't ask me to be on the Look, I'll cancel. I'll make time for you. I'll cancel my client visit. One hundred percent over time you, for you, Colton. That early upload. <laughs> I'm telling you guys right now, I'm going to give you all a fair warning. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to give you all a fair warning because I've got a in my head right now. Tomorrow's upload, I promise you, you'll get a song stuck in your head. It's idiotic. Uh, you will get a song stuck in your head. And I haven't seen this guy come back in the chat since that day when he asked me for you know a song dedicated to him. But it's dedicated to him. So Alabama! Every time somebody says yeah. Alabama, I feel like saying that like Forrest Gump. I always feel like saying Roll Tide and they lost. Roll Turd. <laughs> Big Texas John's going to be so mad. Not anymore, Victor. We actually upgraded. We have regular adult si- or adult uh, proof beer. Why would you put that? Um, it's not watered down yeah, horse pee. No, it's no longer 3-2. Three, three, yeah, the, three, stank, two? Three, two, the stanky leg. That yeah. was still the stupidest edit I've seen. <laughs> I just want to tell you guys right now. I think that I edited that so well, it looks like I was doing that on purpose. I fell. I fell backwards. And when I caught, when I was doing the edit and I saw myself falling backwards, I was like, this is going to be hilarious if I can cut it just right and reverse it and put it back forward and reverse it again. He's like Missy Elliott, by the way. I literally fell over. I just made it look like I was doing. You flipped it down, put it in reverse. a, A dance, a stanky leg dance. I don't know that anybody knows who Missy Elliott is on here. What? Y'all disappoint me. That was very weird. <clears throat> um, three, three thirty-one eight. Anyone who was on the stream last week, thank I'll you. do your paper. Thank you for supporting me too. You guys are awesome. I love you guys, especially you, Colton. You're a good dude. Not in a weird, creepy, get in my van kind of way, but you know, like uh, <laughs> he, he definitely wants that. Thanks for the sport kind of way. He talks about you all the time, Colton. What, what, what even is this life? We don't even know. We already covered what we want to talk about. Now we're just talking to talk, and you're still here, so it must be good. See, oh, people man. know Missy Elliott. Don't be stupid. <laughs> Oh, man. What was I doing? Oh, well, you're welcome, dude. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? You're over an hour. Would I fish with Milliken Fishing? Absolutely. I would fish with him. I'll fish oh, with any of those guys. So that is MF. Okay, I yep. wasn't sure that's what that was. I will, I will yeah, fish with not? any of those dudes. Why not? Even I'll fish with Weston just so I can expose him. <laughs> yeah, my, my, my bad. Yeah. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. Um, he's not on. I think he's doing a podcast right now. But Bailey Egbert, I'm going to look up his uh, YouTube really quick because that guy, I want to get him up. He is an awesome kayak fisherman. He's up in New York. Um, you talk for me right now. Egbert. Egbert. Podcast. E-I-G-B-R-E-T-T, outdoors. He is about 19 subs away from 400. The dude 
kayak bass fisherman up in New York, does tournaments. He's got a podcast. He's got a serious angler podcast. Awesome dude. Awesome dude. And I know he's not on here, but I just, I wanted to give him a shout out because that guy, he puts in work. He does really good content and he does not get recognized like he should. So what's up with Weston? I don't like the one below that. Yeah. You know what, Colton? I think he's going to give you some Oki underwear when you hop into his van. I don't have a van. He's probably going to shove it into your mouth. That's what That's what he's going to do. This just got this super got so awkward. awkward. This is definitely not meant for kids. I would fish with Debo, all. though. You'd fish with Debo. Debo's yeah. Cool dude. I actually talked to Debo today. <laughs> Debo was really cool. Yeah. Jeremy, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. The only thing I didn't, and I ain't trying to open a can of worms, is hey, I'm, I'm, nah, I, I don't have a can open. Go ahead, they're gonna want to know. They're gonna want to know. Like, Talk about it. I don't know. No, no, it's good. I like his edits. He puts a lot of effort into his videos. I'm just not a fan. Uh, Jeremy, don't get mad because I don't like him. We're all entitled to our opinions. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what makes it beautiful because I'm sure y'all don't like me. Fishing rod basics. Spin I got to go home. Casting. Yeah. Because I got to drive like 30 minutes back across town. Tell me so. In, uh... No. Oh, for Alex. I don't. What is that? I think the, the Western thing. But like I said, for me, just I don't know. Like. Posting pictures with the Lambos because you're a no. Uh, what is it? You can message me on Instagram, Jeremy, yeah. and we'll talk. I'll put it over the phone. I won't put it in text message. I won't do that. I've said enough about that dude on here, and he's probably gonna watch this tomorrow. So, because I know he watches me. <laughs> Jonathan, who's crying? I was crying earlier. Um. Oh, fishing fat man. Egbert Outdoors. Let me pull them up here. Oh yeah, Egbert Outdoors. Um, you you are five subscribers away from two thousand, my friend. Is that not focusing? This yeah. guy right here. Yeah, it's focused. Go follow. Five. Go follow him. Share this video, guys. Let's get let's get OWA to two thousand subs. Jonathan, I want to know who's crying though. I think me. Are you talking to me? Probably me. Tell me not to cry. No, <laughs> my brother. <laughs> Spencer. My brother Spencer? Do you know Spencer? I'm at that point where I'm super weird because I'm like super caffeinated up right now. Yeah. Super caffeinated. Yeah. Oh. Look, I got a sub off this. Congrats. Yeah, this is awesome. So happy. You guys. You I guys. really want to see I want to see Egbert. I love you guys. I want to see Egbert get at this. Oh, you don't want to see me? You don't want to see your friend? No. <laughs> I gotta go, guys. I love you. You're watching, aren't subscribed. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. I miss you guys already. Appreciate that. Yeah, guys. We wow, we went over. I hope your interview does over. well. What's my interview? Friday. Oh yeah, Oki did an interview with me. Do over bet. Carl's Dayton Capital. Cap one. I deserve loyalty for Cap one. Bye, guys. I love you. Guys, we're out. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you all. Hope you're ready. Video dropping in the morning. Go watch it. Another video dropping this weekend. It's amazing. Go watch it. We're fishing this weekend, which means there's more videos to come next week, which means we've got – like, you blow super hard, don't you? Like super, Press the button. Super hard blower. Wow. <laughs>